from the streets. I was addicted to heroin for a number of years, and I cried out to God, and he answered me in my bedroom, and he gave me directions where to go, what to do, which I did, and it was strange to me because it was go on the beach, which is the place I told him in answer to his question, what did you do for peace before all this misery? I said, I would go to the beach. He said, go to the beach. I went to the beach and there was a young lady who I didn't know, but I knew I wanted to speak to her. I didn't find it strange because I believed it was God speaking to me, directing me, and I was just obeying. I had no other hope. I didn't have anything to lose. I was at my worst, at my lowest. And um, did that, talked to the young lady, and she told me the answer to my problem. She said, all you need is Jesus. And when she said his name, the power of God and his peace touched my heart. I felt it. I physically felt a peace just come over me. And I smiled. I was like, wow, this is what he said to me. I didn't say this to her. Emily, I said, this is what you asked me about peace. Long story short, um, I came two days later to her church. I accepted the invitation to get to know Jesus as my personal savior. Um, the next day I was in my the same bedroom where I cried out to him and I told him, I said, I believe I met you. I don't know anything about salvation, being saved, how to be saved, what it entails, anything. But I do know, I, met, I, do, I believe I met you. I said, but I got this habit. I have this drug addiction. I shoot heroin every day. I drink, I smoke, I steal, I rob. And I don't want to do it anymore. And that was it. The next day I went to church and there was a revival going on and the young lady who was running the revival called me up. She said, Art, come here, come up here. And I came up front. She said, God told me to tell you it's already done. Now in my mind, I'm like, how did you know you weren't in my bedroom? <laughs> but she said, all you have to do is raise your hands and tell them thank you. And saints, when I raised my hands and I said the first thank you, Jesus, I felt the weight of a heroin addiction for over six, seven years, release. And from that moment on, I was delivered. I was set free. I never again had a desire, an urge, or want, a thought of shooting heroin or anything else. I was delivered, miraculously delivered from a heroin addiction. And I took right to the streets telling everybody, look what happened to me. 